I never intended to build anything. I, I, I'm living in my van and uh, I, I got this piece of forest uh, from my family, from my grandfather, my father, and then it came to me and I thought, oh, I, I can go there with my van, stand, uh, park here and be there for a while and then because it's mine, nobody can chase me away. And, <laughs> and then the police came and they said, you can't, sta you can't stay here with your van. <laughs> and I said, why? <laughs> and then it turned out, if I want to stay here, even if it's my property, there has to be a chalet on it. So, so I had to build something or, or I had to, to, um, to sell it or so. <laughs> but because it was from my family, I didn't want to really sell it. So, and then I thought, well, the place felt healing to me. So I thought maybe I should build something that's not for me because I don't need it. I don't want, I don't want anything that is fixed <laughs> in one place. So I thought, well, then uh, maybe I should build something that is round because I had been living in teepees and yurts. So I knew the difference between a square home and the round home and it's really a difference the energy. the energy yes the energy is really different so i i knew it had to be round yes and that's how it started <laughs> what well, did you is this your design did you come yes. up with this yes design? Uh, together with one of my children who who once studied um, civil engineering arch architecture but he never did that for a job but um he uh he uh, helped me because my first design was just a yurt form. <laughs> it was just a yurt, and uh, and then he said, "Yeah, but for the for the bedrooms, it's better to put them." And then he 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 started to draw something, and that's what got the permission uh, to build the building permission. And then um, and then he added some details that made it even better. The art. So if you want to build this with handcrete, so uh, when we first met about this building, then uh, it was not sure yet. She was, uh, Marika was doubting, shall I do this with straw bales or with something else? So she came to my place and actually you came to my, to here i think <laughs> no no first you came yeah, to, really? to here I, I yeah, yeah, yeah 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 and memory. then seeing seeing the forms i immediately saw the the possible complications uh for the uh, straw bale uh, system and i am in for him and building and with my in enthusiasm <laughs> i was so well, and his so she, charms, of course. Yeah. <laughs> she decided to build with hemp. So for me, this was a real challenge because if you want to make a formwork for this, it needs to be flexible. And I tried out something with with, with an old uh, si antique system which uh, in, in, in the concrete building was used and it worked yeah. and it was really bloody simple <laughs> so but the outside the wood came from where this this wood is from the trees that were here so the trees that had to be cut i uh, had them sawn in planks and mm -hmm. then we could use, uh... what type of wood marika uh, pine, the pines that you see here, it's a, a Scot Scottish pine. <laughs> they have been here for, for, I don't know, over a hundred years or so, or even longer. Did you have to treat them with anything? Uh, I treat them with, um, I treated them with uh, wood bliss, which is uh, something against insects and, and mold and everything. And then I treated them with wolf's oil. The linseed oil, is this yeah. the linseed, linseed oil? oil based, uh, better water, water resistant mixture of uh, several kinds of uh, linseed oil uh, preparations and also tongue oil. Oh yes, yeah. tongue oil. 
which now is a problem to buy. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Where does it originate from, the tongue oil? Tongue I've heard oil. of tongue oil. It comes from China, a kind of nut. And the Chinese, the, the, they pressed oil from it and used this uh, to, to make their uh, wooden ships uh, water sides, uh, water impermeable. Resistant. And, um, mm. So it is really good and, and good water resistant, only it stinks a little bit if, if you would use only this and, you, well, I developed a special mixer. So, Wolf, when you all applied that onto the wood pieces, you'd ha you had to let it sit and season for a while with the uh, oils before you applied it onto the house? Oh, I don't know. No, we actually... No, they we, applied it and then treated, and then it, treated it. Yeah. it yeah. Yeah. And we have been treating them four times now and we, we, we wanted to, to do it again next yeah. how often do you have to treat it then i think in the beginning a little bit more until it's uh, soaked <laughs> it doesn't take so much oil anymore and then i don't know well, every few years or so it, every it, year, it, it depends every... it, it depends it, it, it's quite a uh, poor it's uh, so the base Cement. Well, when, when I came, there was all, already the, 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 the wooden beam structure, and the wooden beam structure was very heavily calculated because there is a uh, living roof mm -hmm. with plants mm -hmm. uh, and earth on top. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for the protection and, and the weight of the um, uh, of, of the material on top, the structure needed to be a little well, well calculated. This is why she needed uh, professional uh, engineers to calculate all this. Eh? Because for an, with a lighter roof, a uh, lighter structure would have been uh, uh, would have been uh, sufficient. But uh, I think on the long term, this type of room. Of roof is not only more sympathetic, more ecologic, but also cheaper. It will last long for many years. Yeah. On the, you had to go before a board to get permission to build and present plans, engineering plans, etc. And did they come out regularly to inspect the various steps as you were constructing the house? In, in Belgium, the architect needs to, to follow up. But he only, uh, legally, he only needs to do that three times. And because um, I didn't need him only to get the permission, uh, he did only that three times. He came three times because that's legal. And then you have, then you apply for a um, living uh, stamp of some sort to live in the house, for anyone to live uh, in the house? Uh, no, it's... Here it's a weekend zone, so you can. It's, it's not allowed for it's, fixed. No. Uh, for you fixed cannot live here. Oh. Uh, it's a weekend. I've yes. never heard of this. A weekend zone. Yeah. Yes. Here, here you have zones. The whole zone here, you cannot have an address because it's no. it's only for weekends. It's it's to protect it's a, the environment and, yeah. and the woods and and yeah. to avoid that it would yeah. be changed into into expensive uh, yeah. houses and villas and, and yeah. but but it's a bit weird because i didn't even want to build anything so it it, it could have stayed forest if they didn't make me yeah. build something so it's a bit okay. strange the rover has been made yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Many, many blocks were here. So, Marika, you had to have speci special builders to come in a... Well, that was <laughs> most guys, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I, have, I had some, uh, some professional people working on it, but also a lot of volunteers from all over the world. <laughs> Hello, 
over the world. Yeah, even oh. from America. Yes. We Americans, we came uh, and assisted. I love it. U.S. and Canada, yeah. yeah. Yes. South America, many yeah, from yeah, South, many America. From South America. Argentina. Uh, Australia. Colombia. Uh, how did you Brazil, get? How did you find Africa, them? Africa. How did you find them? How did they know about uh, the project? Uh, oh. Through platforms on the internet, like uh, she knows platforms. Her ways. <laughs> I found my ways <laughs> because I didn't know. I only knew woofing, and um, and I thought, yeah, but woofing is only for organic farming. So I thought there must be other really? platforms that do the same. This is a work of art. It's I, uh, it's a work of art. It's a feast it's for the art. eyes. It's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Where the sun shines, according to the equinox. We are to the uh, time of the time. day. It is like one bottle after another. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's giving me extra light. And then, and then I, I, of course, I need to also put this one on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Even this looks like a giraffe. Yes, it does. <laughs> it's not a thing. It's, it's a being. It's a being. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it's all made from the trees that were here. Now it's in Exquisite. I want to have things from from all kinds of religions here because uh, it, it helps people to, to reconnect with something that's bigger than us. So here it needs it still needs painting. So it's been painted painted until here and then it still needs to be painted but we have to work a bit on on, on the plaster still. So that's why it's still not painted. Such detail. This one this mosaic has been made by someone from Australia. It makes me think of an octopus almost. Yeah, he he based it on on drawings from the Aboriginals. Whoa. I love the touches of having the mirrors because it gives such depth. Yeah. Reflection. Oh my gosh. And that is petrified wood, you know that? The sink. Yeah, they're petrified. Pet petrified wood. wood. Where does it uh, originate from? This comes this is I bought it in a in a shop in the middle of uh, uh, the Netherlands. <laughs>
made of brick powder and lime. Brick powder and lime. And underneath is the hempcrete. And in between, there is a layer of tubes for uh, floor heating. But this is a wood burning. Yes. Rocket stove system. A rocket, yeah. Yeah, rocket mass. Oh, I've heard it's from, is that the one from Germany I've been hearing about? Uh, Ooh, a I don't know where, where that originated actually. Oh, okay. I think it was mainly uh, developed in US. Uh, Santa, yeah. Something we yeah. positive about, yeah. But it, so this is for I, heating. I a mini rocket here. Is this for okay. heating and cooking as well? Yeah, but it's until now it's never been used for that. It's uh it has been used for heating a bit. But since the wood is getting scarce and um, and uh, I don't have enough dry wood, so the wood that you that you see all around here is too too uh, too wet 